Okay, you're asked to find the difference quotient for this function right here, which that difference quotient is really just a formula for the slopes of secant lines to the graph of this function. Uh, and you're headed towards taking the limit as h approaches zero of this difference quotient, and you'll get something called the derivative of that function which will allow you to find this formula for slopes of tangent lines to that graph. But right now we're only concerned with evaluating the difference quotient. So here's the setup. F of x plus h is right here, minus f of x over h. And to simplify this complex fraction, the easiest way to do that is to multiply numerator and denominator of the big fraction by the LCD of all the little denominators. Because when you do that, you get a simple fraction. So when we take this LCD times the first term in the numerator, the x plus h minus 9 cancels out, and we have this numerator 2 times the remaining factor, which is x minus 9. And when we take that LCD times the second term in the numerator, we have this minus 2 times the remaining factor because the x minus 9s cancel out. We have minus 2 times the quantity x plus h minus 9. And of course, we have to multiply the denominator by the same expression. When we simplify the numerator, the 2x and the minus 2x combine to 0. Same for the minus 18 and the plus 18. We're left with minus 2h, but the h in the factor of h in the numerator cancels out with the factor of h in the denominator. So we've got minus 2 over x minus 9 times the quantity x plus h, whoops, minus 9. And when we do tack on the idea of taking the limit of that as h approaches 0, this h becomes a 0, and we end up with minus 2 over x minus 9, the quantity squared. And that's called the derivative of this function. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.